Lietuvos vakaras, mėlėjai Žalgirio surgaliai, mes esame Žalgirio arenoje ir esame Žalgiris TV studijoje. Kaip ir kiekvieną Eurolygos rungtynių vakarą Žalgirio arenoje mes kalbiname įdomius pašnekovus. Šiandien su mumis studijoje svečiuojasi vienintelis Norvegas rungtynėvės Kauno Žalgirio komandoje, tar Geiro Brynas, kuris žaidė Žalgirio klube prieš 23-22 metus ir su Žalgiriu laimėjo LKL čempiono titulą. So, tar Geiro, nice to have you here one more time in our studio. How are you feeling? Very good. It's nice to be back here, uh, and the game tonight will be the same game as we watched a year and a half ago against Barcelona. Oh, nice coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so only basketball brings you here uh, this time? Only basketball. It's uh, I, I have some friends that have a business here, and uh, they invited me to come along, and it's always a pleasure to come back here. Nice, nice to hear that. Uh, let's talk about Jalik this last season. The third place in the EuroLeague. Were you surprised by that amazing performance of the team? I was very surprised um, in consideration with their budget and what Jasekevicius has gotten out of the team. You know, the whole the whole organization has done a tremendous job and it was such a pleasure to see them, uh, you know, take the third place. Uh, what was the key of success in your opinion, knowing that the budget was so low in terms of the other clubs and the team reached uh, such a height? He looks like everybody works for everybody. Uh, great team structure, fundamentals, they work harder than everybody else. They manage to come back even if they, you know, during difficult times, uh, they got, you know, tremendous defense and collective offense. Everybody played very, very disciplined. Yeah. Uh, well, sometimes people think that it might be only one season wonder when the team uh, achieves such highs and then the next season is very bad. Uh, but what about this uh, season, Jalgiris roster? Do you believe it's talented, it's strong enough to go not maybe to the final four, but maybe to the playoffs of the top eight? I think so. I'll be Honestly, I'd be surprised if they don't finish in the top eight with the, with the continuation they have of the, the core of the team and the additions they have made. Um, I've seen, you know, three of the games already on the, on the EuroLeague net, and I will come here again. I will follow, and I I hope to see them in um, in the top eight, and it'd be wonderful if they if they get to the final four again. But as we know, there's many good teams out there. Uh, last season, Jalgiris had a very important piece, Kevin Pangos. Now he plays for Barcelona. Uh, could you compare somehow Kevin Pangos to Nate Walters, the newest Jalgiris point guard? What are the differences between these two players and who is better, at your opinion? It's hard to say because it's it's so early in the season. Yeah. Kevin was here two years or three years? Two years. Two years. And um, I thought he played so much better last year than the year before. Yeah. And it's too early to say who is the better player. Yeah. yeah. I, I, they're both very, very good players. But that doesn't mean the chemistry of the whole team. Yeah. Yeah. So I still think it's too early to say, you know, if who is the better for the team. You talked about the continuation process for Jalgiris. Uh, Jalgiris has almost the same uh, big line as the last season with the youngster Laurinas Birutis on the squad. Uh, how it is important to have uh, the core of the team the same as it was in the season when Jalgiris reached the third place? It's important in the aspect where they know what the coach wants, they know the philosophy, the, the coach knows what he can get from each player, so he just needs to, you know, to make small additions to adjust, you know, to the, to the whole lineup. And you see with all the, all the big teams that are successful, they have continuation. Uh, let's talk about another perspective. Is Jalgiris a team that is fun to watch for you? It's very much fun. Plus, you know, since I played here too, and honestly, it's the only team that I come back to to watch. Oh, nice! nice yeah. to hear and this arena, it's the atmosphere here, and a packed Chalgiro Arena. It's 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 party nights. It's 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 a happy evening. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, what are your predictions for tonight's game? Uh, who do you think gonna win today? Of course, Chalgiro is gonna win. Oh. I hope, I mean, I really hope so. It's going to be a tough game, I'm sure. But they came off a good win in um, last weekend. And we're hoping for a, 
a home home win tonight. Uh, so Gare, I hope we I hope we're gonna see you soon in the future, and then we're gonna talk for one more time about sure. uh, hopefully Jalgiris victories. So sure. thank you very much. Nice to be back. Nice to, nice to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Tai buvo Turgėjo Brynas, su kuriuo kalbėjome apie tai, ką Žalgiris yra pasiekęs praėjusiame sezone ir ką gali pademonstruoti šiame. O dabar be abejo, mes laukime rungtynių iki jų liko tik 39 minutės, lygite kartu su Kauno Žalgirio ekipa, o mes šiam kartu įsakome iki.